Hello, and we're back with the Titan Missile Complex. I know this has been a long time coming, and there's a reason for it. We'll get into that in a moment. We're actually going to finish the Titan Missile Complex in this episode. It's not nearly as big of a build as some of my others. We are here creating the lock area. This is where there's a bunch of blast locks to prevent people from getting in that are not supposed to get in, and also preventing things from getting out, like explosions. And we uh, we have multiple rooms here, and this was actually a very difficult part of this build to do. And the reason was I could find no dimensions. There is a Titan Missile um, Museum in Arizona. I, I had hoped to make it there, but I never did. So I had to go without that information that I was hoping for. But we have the two little blast areas you see down there and then the large entry hatch. And then I realized as I was setting in the store that the entry hatch doesn't actually, is not actually that whole area. That's actually just a subset of that area. And then I used some steel to build the blast wall, the blast doors. You see that first blast lock right there. Crews would enter in and then they would buzz past the first blast lock into the second, the door would then close, then they would be buzzed into the second blast lock, and so on as necessary. We're working on the stairs going up, and then I made a mistake because I forgot about the elevator, because there is actually an elevator as well. Though I do not build a functional elevator, now well, I build something. Sort of elevator-ish. You can see how most of this structure is indeed an underground structure. Very little is truly going to be above ground, almost everything will be below ground. Now we're building in the control and crew quarters. At least we were building the beginning of it, anyway. <clears throat> Before I came back over here to complete the entry area and put in our steel door. Now an interesting thing that I read about in my book uh, about the Titan missile, and I'll actually put a link to the book in the description, is that at one point Crews were able to jimmy the door into the Titan Missile Facility with a credit card. Yeah, that's scary. That is some scary stuff. In fact, reading the book, you don't realize how close we came to nuclear accidents in this country so often. Now, there's a, there is a roof entrance there to the entry area that was to service the elevator and other equipment. And that also was blast doored, at least the best I could tell again. I am going off some drawings that came out of this book. No pictures, nothing like that. So some areas I'm going to obviously be incorrect, but I'm doing the best I can. Another area that I was incorrect with, and I knew it from the beginning, was how I was going to have to handle this crew quarters. It's not nearly big enough in Minecraft because we're limited with the large size of the blocks. I wasn't actually able to make the dome I had hoped to. So I went and made sort of a partial dome, I guess you could call it. Um, I wanted to make sure I was at least one stone block down from the dirt. So we had at least one piece of dirt between the, the top, the roof of our building and the dirt. Now this, this building over here contains command and control. It contains the crew quarters. It also contains the backup facilities, which uh, are down at the very bottom. Here in the crew quarters, which is on the top here, I built a little bathroom, I built a little kitchen, and then we have, of course, the crew quarters. This is the kitchen using some agriculture things to build in there. And then I have this terrible problem with this chair. I cannot get the back to go in the direction I want it to. Yeah, I finally just gave up. I, I don't know if I'll ever go back and fix that. But then I built in the little crew area and put the roof back on. And in the bathroom, I didn't know what was in the bathroom. They, it doesn't actually show in any of the drawings I could find. So I put in a couple of cauldrons of water and built a little glass shower, <clears throat> just a single shower. I thought about trying to put water above it, but I couldn't, couldn't actually fit it in the area I had. I put in some toilets because toilets are important. And then I decided to start the encasing of this particular part of the build because of the strange structure, uh, the filler that I usually use for filling in uh, wouldn't actually work. It would actually start to put stone inside the structure. Didn't want to do that, so there you go. 
Then I realized, looking at my picture again, that I needed an escape hatch, because they do have an escape hatch. In fact, the main story in Command and Control, that is the book, by the way, um, is about an accident at a Titan missile facility, and they did use the escape hatch, so I needed to build one, at least if you're going to recreate the book. And then I start filling in the flooring in the different areas. I'm kind of buzzing around, filling stuff in, um, knowing that I'm not actually on screen but uh, I felt like I needed to start working on some of the areas, even though I hadn't had the camera pan around yet. And I'm just laying in some more of the stone in areas that I knew were gonna be particularly troublesome with the filler. I do decide I'm going to do, I did do all the filler off screen because it did take me about two hours worth of work with the filler machine to actually get the whole thing filled in properly. Now I'm just gonna hang out, just chilling. Here we are, we're working on the command level. Now initially I thought, oh, I just gotta throw some computers on here, build ourselves a little desk because the desk does fe feature prominently in the picture and then I'm good to go. But then I started looking and I realized there's actually a wall of computers and racks and a, another wall running down the one side. It forces anybody who infiltrates the compound to kind of walk a small maze almost to get around to the main launch facility again to allow people to be killed before they take over the facility I guess and I put in a red light presumably a launch light and some stairs to go down to the first floor it took me a minute to figure out how to build properly the uh, the railing so that I don't have a problem with my rails but that's okay we get our railing done now the only way into the evacuation area is going to be through steel doors. So those are actually triggered steel doors. I got a lever in there. Now down here is our backup facility. And I wanted some generators and things like that. And I found the rotary craft, though I never set them up to actually work. Rotary craft items look semi-appropriate. And then after trying whatever that thing was, I decided I wanted a tank because I realized water and I remember reading about how they kept water and fuel in the facility in order to keep it running in the case of a nuclear attack. So I went ahead and built water and fuel tanks using open blocks. Could have used other tanks, but I thought that the open blocks was cool because it moves around ever so slightly. And there's a lot of running off screen. And what I'm doing is building the rest of the evacuation facility, which actually goes from the bottom floor and the um, command floor and the stairs down there. So ostensibly we have finished the facility. You see I've filled it in. I'm building the big black, big launch door here and I put it in a partial open state just so that it looks like it's in the process of launching. And it took me a while to figure out the proper shape and I had the camera moving way faster than I expected but that's okay. And then looking at my picture, I noticed that there were lights and observation devices on the roof of the main facility. So I decided to go ahead and build those. Just use some paneling around some inverted lights in order to make the permanent lights. Just a nice, easy thing to do there. And then I realized that they had a motion detector as well. I decided that just using a redstone torch would work because motion detector as well, there's no such thing in Minecraft. So there's our, the facility's entrance, basically. And then there was a uh, radio tower of sorts over on top of the um, command facility. And now we're gonna take a little tour because we need to have a little tour. I built the elevator. It doesn't actually work, but it's an elevator. We built the elevator tracks all the way down. You'd come down here, a camera would acknowledge that you are there and they'd open one blast lock and then the other blast lock for you. Now we have a way to command and control and away to the missile and through the double blast locks towards the missile. And there's another blast lock at the silo itself. All of this was in case of an explosion in the silo, which did actually happen again in the book Command and Control. And here we are in our silo. Our door is partially open. There is an escape hatch I built into the silo. There were usually three of them from what I can tell, but I only built one because, well, I didn't feel like building the rest of them. They're all the same. 
back through our double blast doors to our command and control facility. Then we have all of our command and control stuff. I put a CCTV up from Rotary Craft because, well, why not? And downstairs to our, our backup generator facility and then we'll head upstairs. This is our Titan II missile complex. It's quite the construct. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I know it's been uh, short and long all at the same time. And I don't have plans as of yet to release it, but I might change my mind. I might be persuaded to change my mind. It'll be a cutout of the world. Don't know what we're going to do next, but hopefully you've enjoyed it. Hopefully you learned a little bit. Again, there's a link to Command and Control in the description if you want to read about the Titan II Missile Complex. Until next time. And we find something else to build. I've been Dare Tebbers. Watch out for creepers outside your door. They're, they're evil like that. And this is our Titan II Missile Complex.